As we look forward to the 2016 motorsport season, I've decided to create a list of five drivers that should be on everyone's radar this year. So without further ado, let's take a look, shall we? First up is Jack Goff, who will be racing in the British Touring Car Championship this year. He took his first win at Snetterdon in 2015 and has joined West Surrey Racing for this year. WSR has run the BMWs that swept to the title in 2014 and were contenders in 2015, so regular race wins should be a target. Being in the championship hunt is going to be difficult, but I see absolutely no reason why Jack Goff can't at least upset the established order even more in 2016 than he did last year. Next up is Edwin Scott racing in the Toyota Tires Production BMW Championship. Scott made his car racing debut in 2015 and managed to break into the midfield with consistent top half finishes towards the end of the year, securing 14th out of 49 in the championship. Two hard-fought podiums and the Victor Meldrew Trophy event at the tail end of the season show that the speed is coming and that the racecraft has generally been sublime. Whilst it may be too much of a stretch to suggest a championship assault in 2016, consistent top 10 finishes could be in the offering this year. Lee Morgan is up next and he will again be contesting the BRSCC Formula Jedi Championship. 2014 wasn't a great year for Lee, where a lack of money was his main obstacle in the Formula 3 Cup, apart from two wet races at Spa which resulted in two podium finishes. Since then, the 2013 Formula Jedi Champion has returned to reclaim his crown, but five wins in 2015 netting him second in the championship, and that's after mechanical failures and other appalling bad luck cost him dear, is surely a sign of things to come. Surely a championship beckons in 2016. Next up is Will Palmer, the son of former Formula One driver Jonathan Palmer and brother of 2016 Lotus Formula One driver Julian Palmer spent most of 2015 demolishing the opposition in BRDC Formula 4 with 12 wins, 10 pole positions and 15 fastest laps. With financial backing from Father Jonathan's Motorsport Vision Company, an attempt at GP3 is in the offering. Wins are expected. Last but by no means least we have Tom Ingram. The Ginetta GT Super Cup champion of 2011 and 2013 has impressed since joining the British Touring Car Championship in 2014. A fantastic race at Rockingham in 2015 in which he battled for the lead for the whole race with double champion Jason Plato before netting his first podium finish brought attention from the entire paddock before another podium was secured in the penultimate race of the season at Brands Hatch. Sticking with the Speedworks Motorsport team could be a good, good move as stability could breed results. Could a maiden win be on the cards in 2016? Bit of a shorter video today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Trying to keep things short and sweet for the time being. Uh, also, Happy New Year. It's the first video of 2016, believe it or not. Um, so, yeah. I'm on the screen, there are two more videos I think you might enjoy. Give a like if you enjoyed this video. And uh, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos from this channel. Thanks for watching.